Yes, folks. Now, are you someone with tight hips and groins? You know, those niggly aches and pains, which can often stop us from training or playing at our best. Well, if so, this video is for you. Now, in the last video I posted, I actually shows some really good ways you can strengthen your adductors or your groin muscles through half Copenhagen holds and full Copenhagen holds. So if you do suffer from those kind of niggly little groin injuries, they're a great exercise to add into your routine and hopefully just reduce those pains and aches that might creep in during the week. This time, though, we're all about mobility and trying to increase that range of motion through your hip and groin area. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a bar, we need a rack, just something you can step up and over. OK, now you've probably been part of a warm up before. You might have even take them on yourself. You've probably seen it open and close the gates. This is something similar, but with way more control and focus. I'm actually going to start with the bar in between my legs and my feet are relatively close together. I'm going to turn my outside leg, not to the full 90 degrees, but about 70 degrees. If you can remember your angles from school. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this leg up and over the bar to join my feet back together and repeat the process. And the beauty of this exercise is that bringing my knee up nice and high, I have to switch my hip flexors on. I'm just starting to loosen those off as well. And that action of opening up and coming up over the bar, you can then start to really increase your range of motion through your groins. And you can make this kind of as extreme as you want to. You can really come up far away or you can just kind of keep it a bit tighter if you need to and you're a little bit sore, a little bit tight. So completely up to you, but it's a controlled movement. Yeah, I'm not rushing it. I'm not just trying to get through a warm up and get into my game or my training like I know some people like to do. If you do loads on one side, do loads on the other, you should start to really feel a little bit looser. That's a bit static though. So can we increase it? Can we make it a bit more dynamic? Yes, we can. And the way we do that is we start over the bar. And this time, we're actually going to bring our other foot up and over to meet it. And we're just going to start to become a bit faster, a bit more tempo in there. And my knees come high. And I just join my feet together each time. And again, I can make it as extreme as I want to. I can really open up and out, or I can keep it a little bit closer together. So completely up to you. But there you go. There you have it. A really nice, easy little routine. Kind of increase that range of motion, increasing movement around your hips and groins. But that'll do it for this one. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you soon.